Hey everybody, it's John, aka Smelly Telly, and I'm hanging out here at moremusicandmoreguitars.com. And today we're going to be talking about the Kenny Wayne Shepherd Signature Strat from Fender, um, which is a guitar that's, I'm going to say, kind of long overdue. Uh, it's, it's strange because he's a few years younger than me, and I still think of him as a kid. When he broke, he was like 17, something like that. Um, and kind of funny to think that that was almost 30 years ago when he kind of broke. So he's been doing this for three decades, helping to keep the blues alive, one of the few, right, over the past few years. And so, yeah, he absolutely deserves to have a signature Strat. And it's a great Strat. We've been playing around with it and we're pretty impressed all around. It's a Strat, so spec-wise, I'm gonna go over the things that are maybe just a little bit more different, you know, or maybe more interesting to you. Um, it is a maple neck and a chambered ash body. Um, the fretboard you can see is rosewood, um, but you can see we have block inlays, which we kind of thought was an odd choice for a Strat, but we looked it up and apparently there was a short run in the 60s of Strats that had a bound fretboard and block inlays in it. So uh, we will say about the neck that Kenny himself says that this is the closest that they've been able to come to his kind of cherished 61 Strat that he loves as far as the profile of it goes. It is a, it's a gloss finish on the back. It is very vintage in that sense. It does have though the jumbo frets on it. So, you know, the actions, you can play it a little bit higher, but it still bends really nice because you've got some space between the strings and the fretboard. And then the pickups are his signature or their Kenny Wayne Shepherd voiced pickups. And they're great sounding pickups. We're going to go through some sounds here in just a little bit. And for the most part, that's pretty much the only thing that's kind of different about it. It's just that it's got his name on it. You know, he helped design it and he's very proud of it because I've actually seen a couple of interviews of him talking about it. And he should be. It's an awesome guitar. So we're going to go through some clean sounds. We're going to go through some dirty sounds. And then... Um, I'll kind of wrap it up there at the end. I will say they did not go with vintage saddles. They went with something a little bit more modern, which um, for me works just as, just as well, probably easier to be honest. So let's go through and get some clean sounds first. I'm gonna start with the neck pickup, which is always kind of my favorite on a Strat. <laughs> Position four, this was a position that I really liked when I was jamming on it earlier. Middle position. And position one. Let's go through some dirty sounds. We're kicking on the dirt, everybody. Hold on to your eardrums. Nah, wasn't too bad, was it? Starting down here in the bridge position. Position two. Middle position. Position four. Position. 
cool. It all sounds great to me. So this was, this is the Kenny Wayne Shepherd signature strap from Fender. It's a pretty fantastic guitar. It kind of took us off guard a little bit when, when it came in. I think Larry and I both kind of had something else in mind. And when we first looked at it, we were like, huh, uh, but it works. It feels great. You know, Fender should be proud. Kenny Wayne Shepherd should be proud. It's a fantastic guitar. Sounds great. If you have any questions about this or anything else, you can get a hold of us here. Uh, you can call More Music or you can get on our website at moreguitars.com and contact us that way. My name is John. You can call me Smelly. And I hope everybody has a great day. I'll see you in the next video.